happening in the 70s, 80s, and 90s before the, the Criminal Records Bureau was actually set up uh, is kind of beyond belief, really. And, and I really do feel that by setting up the, the CRB uh, when it first launched in 2002, just meant that we can all start making much more informed recruitment decisions and start safeguarding uh, children who, who are looking after. Why are we police checking? Well, actually, having a criminal record is probably more prevalent than, than we actually think. Um, 9.2 million people have criminal records. One in four of the adult population have a criminal record. And by the age of 30, one in three men will actually have a criminal record. Does it mean they're bad people? Does it mean they can't work with children? But it's important you know what, what that past has involved. So you can ask them questions, so you can make a safeguarding decision. But probably most important, when you are doing a criminal record check, it's those names that exist on the barring list. So those are the people that you cannot employ to work with children, the people on the child barring list. So when we look at the levels of check, this really should be straightforward. It should just be a, a criminal record check. That's all we need to do. But oh no, there's so much legislation that's involved in criminal record checking, means it's much, much, much more complex than that. So we have a, a basic disclosure, which provides information on somebody's current conviction. So these are non spec And you can ask anybody uh, to see their uh, basic disclosure. But then you have standard and enhanced checks. So these will show somebody's spent and unspent conviction. Now, they need to be undertaking roles that are uh, exempt from the rehabilitation of a offender. So when you're employing somebody to work with children, then you're needing an enhanced check with a DBS children's father check as well. And you also need to ensure that they are uh, established as part of the child workforce. It's really important when you are doing one of these checks that you get the right level. If you undercheck, you're not able to establish whether that person is able to work with children or not. Overcheck, uh, and you're, you're starting to um, impact the, that person's ability uh, to work. So, good question. Is a criminal record check a legal requirement? Knows if somebody has had a conviction in the past, whether it's spent or unspent. 
Typically, anybody that's working with children or in care are, uh, are able to, the employers are able to see if somebody has a spent or unspent conviction. Then we fast forward to 1997, I got married, and this is the Police Act that established the, the, the Criminal uh, Records Bureau and the levels of check that was apparently using today. Safeguarding Vulnerable Groups Act in 2006. Uh, this created a concept of regulated activity. This is me with my, my third child. And that was recently updated in 2012 by the Protection of Vulnerable Groups Act. This is me with my family, my three children. So a lifetime of uh, legislation that has created the uh, Criminal Records Bureau and what's now called the Disclosure Bar Service. And you'll see this, in, uh, well, you see it on the, um, the slides later on, but what, what this is essentially saying is the, the, the amount of change that has happened with the Criminal Records Bureau and Disclosure Bar Service. So things like um, you used to be able to get or called a brown envelope of information that was not disclosed uh, to, to the candidate, that the police did not want to disclose to the candidate, sensitive information. And you couldn't employ that person, but you couldn't tell them why. The, the concept of, of regulated activity has been co constantly changed and updated um, throughout the period between 2012 and 2014. Let's have a look at that. So what is regulated activity? Well, first of all, as we potentially is obvious, child of a person is aged under 18. And when we talk about regulated activity, it's about your, your people undertaking work that is of a specified nature or in a specified establishment. Now, often we get into a debate about whether you can do a criminal record check for somebody or not, and what level it should be. And this terminology around frequency, frequently, and whether the person's uh, got overnight charge of a child is always very important. So the definition of frequency is whether that the person you're employing is working with children once a week or more or within a 30 day period, four or more times. And it's the same child. So if it's different children all the time, that would be classed as incidental contact. So other activities that, mean, that make regulated activity, uh, personal care, if you're taking a uh, child to the toilet maybe, Conveying children in a vehicle or management of those people that are undertaking regulated activity. So, when we're talking about specified nature, the type of activities that involve that include regulated activity, we're about teaching, training, instruction, and care for the supervision of children. And I'd imagine that the activities that you're undertaking, this is why you're going to be doing the criminal record check on your staff. But then there are some that are really not so easy. And that's because it depends on the amount of contact that the person is having uh, with the child. So an events coordinator might be office based or they might actually be involved in delivering uh, the events themselves. So, barring list referrals, who's ever done a barring list referral? Who knows what that's about? 